Here at Clarison, we know that each company has their own set of internal processes and needs. That's why we provide you a platform that is fully configurable to meet your exact requirements. Custom actions are just one type of these configurations and give you true flexibility in Clarison by allowing you to not only create one-click actions that trigger entire workflows, but also to simplify your existing processes, create new processes, customize your life cycles, and introduce custom dynamic forms. Custom actions can be run from anywhere, including grids, discussions, and even emails. Let's get started by looking at a dynamic form that allows people to request vacation days directly within the application. This enables you to keep a record of employees' time off and create an approval flow. To put in a request, click on the navigation panel and select the vacation request custom action. This action was created at the organizational level so that it can be accessed via the navigation panel regardless of where you are in the system. Once selected, a dialog box opens where you can enter the to and from dates for your vacation and the exception type. Once you're done, click Next. Fields in this next step are dynamic and determined by the exception type. In this case, because vacation was selected, you must enter your availability and other additional details. When done, click OK. The success message lets you know that your request has been sent for approval to your direct manager, who will now receive an email to approve or reject the request. The vacation request has also been added as a request in the system, which means that you have the ability to edit the request details before it gets approved. Let's take a look at another custom action that allows direct managers to approve the vacation request directly from Clarizen. In the Configuration tab, select Request, and then select the Approve Vacation Request Custom Action. Within Custom Actions, the Permissions section defines which users are allowed to run the action, and in this case, the action is available to the requester's direct manager. The evaluation criteria defines which conditions must be met in order for the custom action to be accessible. In this scenario, the custom action will be available when a request is submitted or reopened, and the request type is set to vacation request. Let's move on to the user input section. Setting this checkbox to true means that a dialog box will open requesting information from the user, as we saw when running the initial vacation request action. Variables set in this section can be used within sections below or simply provide information to the user running the action. For the approval of the vacation request, the approver needs to verify the date range with the ability to edit it if needed and to add any additional comments. The first variable is the from date of the vacation request, where the default is set to the from custom field in the request. The process is repeated for the to date. The final variable, comments, is a text area field that is optional. Next up is the set action section. In this case, once the direct manager approves the vacation request, a new calendar exception will be created for the requester and the request state will be approved. Last but not least, an email is sent to the requester, letting them know that their vacation request has been approved and added to their calendar. This custom action can now be set to run in many ways. First, by accessing the request module, selecting the relevant vacation request, clicking on custom actions in the ribbon, and clicking on the Approve Vacation Request button. In this organization, the admin created a special view called Vacation Requests. This view displays all pending vacation requests that the user needs to approve, and even has a custom field called Approve and another called Reject. Both these fields have a link that, when clicked, will open the relevant custom action, meaning you have the ability to run your custom actions directly in line without needing to navigate through the ribbon. Additionally, as soon as a vacation request is added, the relevant direct manager will have a new post added to their feed with the request linked and the ability to approve or reject directly within the post itself. These same URLs can also be sent via email, meaning approvers can quickly approve requests with a click of a button. Clicking on Approve within the email sends you directly into Clarizen and opens up the approval form where you can now view and tweak the from and to dates and add any comments. Once you're done, click OK. You can now see that the request was successfully approved 
And you can also see that Monica's calendar has also been updated with the approved vacation days. To learn more about Clarison, be sure to check out the other tutorials available in our training center and our Wiki help site. We also highly recommend signing up for one of our daily live beginner or advanced webinars, where one of our Clarison experts can answer any of your questions. If you haven't tried out Clarison yet, be sure to do so with our free 30-day trial. Thanks for your interest in Clarison. See you back soon.